Well, Zimbabweans living abroad will not be allowed to vote in this year's elections. Now, this ruling was made by the country's constitutional court. President Emerson Monangagwa had previously said that a lack of resources would make it difficult to allow the multitudes of Zimbabweans living outside the country to vote. We're joined via Skype by ENCS correspondent in Zimbabwe, Pindai Dube. Pindai, very good morning to you. I'm sure uh, election fever are now starting to grow in Zimbabwe with the election due to happen on the 30th of July this year. Yeah. So um, what's been the reaction, though, especially from, uh, from those who don't live in Zimbabwe but, uh, and, and will not be allowed uh, to vote in this election unless they come home? Yes, uh, very true, Yuveka. Uh, there was a judgment yesterday by uh, uh, Justice uh, Elizabeth Gwauza in the Constitutional Court saying that uh, Zimbabwe in the diaspora, you know, there are multitudes of Zimbabweans living in South Africa, UK, and Canada who want who had actually led by uh, Gabriel Shumba, who is one of the a lawyer based in South Africa. They wanted to be allowed to vote, but uh, the, Justice Gwauza said. He agreed with the, um, uh, the, what was presented by the State Council, who said that only Zimbabweans living in Zimbabwe can vote in their constituencies because currently there are no constituencies out of the country. Uh, they said that also only Zimbabweans who are on government duty are allowed to vote uh, from outside Zimbabwe. So most Zimbabweans I spoke to who are best in the diaspora, they are not happy with the judgment. That's the position right now. So what has happened in previous elections, though, Pindami, now with the, uh, President Monangagwa saying that it, it's due to a lack of resources, as you say. Firstly, uh, has that been the case in, 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 with, with previous elections, that there was a lack of resources and they weren't allowed to vote? Or are we thinking that that is just a feeble excuse for, for uh, and, and there's another reason behind this? Right, yeah, yeah. For, for, for the past elections, from since around 2000, uh, uh, Zimbabweans outside the country, especially in the diaspora, were not allowed to vote. There was also an argument last time from this, uh, the ruling party saying that the, you remember Zimbabweans is on targeted. There are on targeted sanctions. They said that uh, they are not allowed to go to those cost, uh, places outside the uh, outside Zimbabwe, especially in Europe. To, to, to campaign, and they feel that uh, it's to their disadvantage. So I think they are happy with the court's decision yesterday uh, that uh, only Zimbabweans who are in Zimbabwe are allowed to vote. So there is a campaign by civic society groups here in Zimbabwe that they want to encourage Zimbabweans who are outside uh, the country to come and register to vote and also to come on the election day, which is June 30, to come and vote. So are we seeing this then maybe as an attempt to get all of those Zimbabweans who've chosen to leave the country back home? Yeah, some, there are two arguments. Some, they are saying uh, these people, uh, they, they don't care about their country. Some are saying these people are looking for better life. You know, Zimbabwe's uh, the economy is on its knees and uh, there are no jobs. Uh, unemployment is uh, around 90%. So most Zimbabweans who are outside are saying that uh, they, are, they are looking for better life. So. Uh, but and the economy still hasn't recovered. There's no way they can come home and uh, do nothing. Okay. All right. And then, of course, this uh, election, uh, Pindai, will be a very telling moment for Emerson Monangagwa uh, to see if the people of Zimbabwe really actually want him there. Yes, very true. Uh, these are actually watershed elections. These are first election without uh, former President Robert Mugabe, who has ruled Zimbabwe since 1980. So this is the first te test case of, uh, of uh, Emerson Munangagwa as, as the presidential candidate. You know, he has been an MP, of course. He has lost some, some, uh, some parliamentary elections before, but he, he won the last uh, uh, 2013 election. He was an MP in Chirubans, in Zimbabwe. So this is this is are uh, going to be interesting elections. And we also have a young man uh, Nelson Chamisa, who is only 40, uh, who will be contesting against Mnangagwa. So the, these are the, that's the main cost, contest which uh, most people are going to witness.
And what about those rumours swirling, Pinda, in the past couple of weeks of a comeback, a possible comeback by Robert Mugabe? Would they a, a different party? Do we know? Uh, what have we heard about that? And, and you know, will, will there be sort of any attempt to uh, contest this election by him? Are we hearing anything? Yes, uh, very true. Uh, you know, there's a political party that's uh, the National Patriotic Front, which was formed uh, by uh, a group, you know, uh, known as the Generation 40, which was accused, you remember, on the, uh, during the uh, November 15 um, coup, where they were uh, accused of being the criminals around President Robert Mugabe. So they've come together, they've formed uh, uh, the party called National Patriotic Front, and they say they've got the support of President Robert Mugabe. But it's not clear whether President Robert Mugabe uh, will, will take part in the elections. So we are waiting, you know, the national, uh, the nomination court for those who will take part in the June 30, July 30 elections will be there on June 14. That's about two and a half weeks from now. So that's when we are going to know whether President Robert Mugabe will put his name for, for the, to contest as the leader of the National Patriotic Front. But now, currently, um, the leader of the National Patriotic Front is Ambrose Mutiniri, who is a former government minister, who is also a former uh, army chief. Uh, so we are waiting to see what will happen. But at the, at the moment, we are not sure whether the, president, the former President Robert Mugabe will take part in these elections. Right, well, about two months to go now to that election. Thank you very much, ENCA's correspondent in Zimbabwe, Pindai Dube.